Last night on Late Line, we heard from Scarlett Hanna, the daughter of the president of the Church of Scientology in Australia. She describes Scientology as a toxic organisation and was particularly scathing about the treatment of children. Well, tonight, a special Late Line investigation raises allegations that the church in Sydney was involved in covering up the sexual assault of an 11-year-old girl. Carmen Rayner alleges that one of the church's most senior figures internationally was involved in coaching her and her mother both members of the Church of Scientology, to lie to police and community services. Steve Canane reports. When I was 11 years old, I was with my friend Marinda down at the park and we're on the merry-go-round and we were just happened to be talking. And I told her that I had someone that touched me and she said, that's not right. And I remember at the time understanding it was such a big thing that she was telling me and how damaging this was for her and I um, asked her if I could t tell my mother. Between the age of about eight, seven to eleven, he was molesting me. I suppose why I was really, really worried... Marinda Voigt's mother Louise is the CEO of Bernardo's. At the time she was working in child protection. Carmen came to see me. I'm brought by my daughter. She gave me a fairly full disclosure um, of sexual interference by her stepfather, which has been repeated over a considerable number of occasions. I said to her that I really needed to talk to her mum. Um, and that probably we would have to go to the Department of Community Services as it was then, yaks. I went into shock. I didn't, I didn't know how to react. I didn't know what to do. And um, my first thought was, well, I need to speak to somebody that will help me. And my first thought was the chaplain in Scientology. Phoebe Rayner brought her daughter here to the Church of Scientology in Sydney a response that set off alarm bells for Louise Voigt. I phoned the Department of Community Services because I was so concerned because Carmen's mum said that she wouldn't go anywhere, she wouldn't seek any help, she would go to her church and she then told me it was the church.